Okay, this is my review of the Nintendo Switch two months later. So, I got this Nintendo Switch right here for Christmas. It's a really nice console. And there's one thing that it's so different of any other console. And it's the discs or whatever goes in. Now, for traditional... Um, for traditional... Uh... You call it for traditional games. What you usually do is here. This is the dock. You put it in. A little green light comes on. You go, and then it shows the TV. But it's like the most. It's like so different from any console. First of all, it's handheld, so you can use this. And there's one thing that's kind of off from other consoles. Is that well for a traditional console for the controllers? They're called Joy Cons, and for a traditional console for my Xbox One, it's just this. And for almost every console but Nintendo consoles, the button placements are really off. Instead of B being on the middle right, it's it's on the it's on the bottom. So, button placements are just different. A is swapped with B, and B is swapped with A. So, um, yeah. And it detaches and t attaches to the console, unless you get a Switch Lite, but coming from a huge Nintendo fan fanboy, Nintendo Switch Lite sucks. So you just take the controllers out, and they're wireless too, which is nice if you just want to do this. The, the Switch also has a stand. Which is super awesome, and it's very helpful. So, hang on. Hang on. Okay, look. Your Switch console comes with a stand. You flip it to the back. You take out this thing. And it's a stand. Works really well. It does come off easily, and that's one flaw of the stand for the Switch, but... Still a great stand. Works perfectly. Works great. Love it. You can get different controller looks and variety. For example, you can get a green and orange controller if you want it. There's a bunch of color variety. But again, if you just want to connect it to the console, you have to align the rims with the console here. And then you have to down when you hear a little click on the from the speaker on the console that means it's connected and charging but if you want to push down a little more it goes on the switch and it goes on so it's super tight and you can't take it out same thing for the other one just align it with the rim slide it down then it works there's a bunch of different control uh, buttons on the controllers a, B, Y, X, basic things on a regular console. Joy sticks. These. Again, traditional console has these. Except it's not a D pad. It's kind of like a button D pad. Then it's kind of this to this. This is how you take a screenshot. You can view your screenshot by going into this little thing. Oh, and it also has a touch screen, so, which is nice. Click on it. This is what it looks like. And then again, what you can do is if you want to delete it, just press X on your controller and then press A for delete. Oh, that's my old thing, so. So, in order to put a game console in, where I have Super Mario Odyssey. You just open the thing. It's you open the oversized thing, and what you see is pretty surprising. But you get this tiny little thing. This thing. Oh, and I may I remind you, Nintendo Switch games cost sixty dollars each. Sixty dollars. So, so there should be a little thing on the top that says game card. You just you reach in a little notch. And you pull it open. And then you grab your... Let me put you guys on the stand because I can't... I can't this. 
open it and then you put it in. There should be a little arrow there. You insert it with the arrow facing down. Push in when you hear a click and when you hear the Nintendo Switch makes a sound, that's you're done. Close the little hatch thing and you're off. This is boom. You can play. You can also download games. You don't have to get them um, physical. You cannot. You don't have to do physical. You can do. Um, you can go to so to buy a, a digital. You just um, you go into the Nintendo eShop. You go to. You can go and you can buy anything you want. For example, you can buy Super Mario 3D Bowser's Fury. This is for all you guys. I spent $60 on this, so enjoy. And when you want to select, just press A. And then it does it. Boom, boom, boom. You do not have significant fun select a method to ask. Okay. Well, that's fine. Let's get out of here. Okay, so that was that. Um, I couldn't, sorry, guys, I couldn't find it. And I will show you how to take it out. So just, again, lift the notch up. It says game cartridge and push down once. When you hear a little click and when you see it come out, just pull it out. Close the little notch. Your game will come out. Put it in the oversized packaging. And close your thing. There's a lot of features on the Switch I love. One of them is that it has a touch screen and it's handheld. Now, it's touch screen so you can just scroll and it's nice because you can touch anything with the touch screen. You don't have to use the Joy-Cons. Unlike this. Also, there's a little sleep button which I like. Just press it two times and then press sleep. Boom. It sleeps, which I love. To wake it up, just press the home button. And it should turn on. Okay. You actually need to go on the top. And when it's in sleep mode, you just hold the power button down. And it turns on. And I think you could hold the, this thing, too. Boom. That's, that's all. There's a lot of settings that you can change as well. I'm not going to go all through them because it'll bore you. Just... Also, another feature I love about this is playing Nintendo Switch and lose your controllers. Well, let me show you what happens. Let's just demonstrate here. Let's take this Joy-Con. Let's pretend we're in a scenario where we're playing Mario Party and we lost our controllers. Let me put it over here. Then we go over to the little switch thing here. Go over to the little tablet. Press on controllers. Find controllers. And you can... And if it's not found, or if it's not connected to the console, just press on the controller you want to find. And when it's connected, it'll vibrate, which is nice. Let's see it. Ooh, my Joy-Con sounds like it's over here. Get your Joy-Con, boom, you found it. It's so easy. With traditional game consoles, that doesn't happen. And this console is cheaper than other traditional game consoles like the PS5. I'm just saying, um, I hate Xbox, even though I have two Xboxes, so. Okay. More features of the Switch that I love and that you don't have on traditional consoles is that you have every single Thing that you need on a gaming console. You have YouTube, games, news articles if you want. You can go and you can play online too, which is nice. And the only thing is that if you're an 18 year old or or 16 year old looking to play some MA rated games, Nintendo's for kids. So you're gonna have to buy a PS5 or Xbox if you want to do that. There's not a lot. Actually, you can buy. MA rated games on the Switch, so it's not really for little kids. Just for little kids. Um, there's a lot of other features like news, Nintendo Switch Online, like I was telling you later, you have YouTube, Minecraft, things like that. 
games that you always have wanted. And if you're a huge Nintendo fan and you have a Wii U still, I suggest upgrading to the Switch. I think the Nintendo Switch and the PlayStation are the best consoles. But Nintendo Switch is still number one for me because it's handheld. So I need a little PlayStation portable, but kind of old. There's a lot more features that I can go into. For example, if you want to connect it to the TV and it's scary at night and you just want to, and, and you're just like, okay, well, you're not scared at night, but I want to play some Mario Party. Okay, all you have to do is slide the tablet in the dock, into the dock, like I'm doing now. And it says the green light, it pops up on the TV, and boom. Another nice feature is that you can use the controls wirelessly on the TV, which is super cool. In fact, right now I'm in a scenario where I'm on the TV, and I just want to, you know, use it wirelessly. Like, boom, like this. It even works on the TV. How sick is that? And when you want to just use it in handheld mode, you can do that. Also, the charger is USB-C, so very nice. You can charge the only, and I will let you on one con of the Switch. You need, the only way, okay, the only way to charge the controller is just to put it on the Nintendo Switch itself. Now, there is a way to get around it. You can pay $100 for a charging dock to charge multiple controllers at once and not just two. And that's a really big downside. I suggest buying a Nintendo Switch charging dock and two more controllers just because if you have four friends, depending on how many friends you have, you should get those. If you don't have any friends, then I suggest just not buying any controllers. I'm just keeping the ones you have. Uh, that's my suggestion. Um, again, multiple games, like I said, they're all Mario stuff and fun things like that. A lot of things. You can even take videos on this. Let me show you. Let me show you one of the videos that I have. For example, this. There, this here's a video I took. This is one of the Mario Party games. But, uh... Man, that's about all. And, um... That's pros and cons about the Switch. I want to talk about the cons. Uh, let's start with the cons now. So, I already told you reasons why you should buy the Switch. Now, I'm going to tell you reasons not to buy the Switch. First of all, I mean, if you're on the go and you don't have to dock, I mean, this screen is just so small. It's so small. You can, like, barely see anything. Especially when you're playing four-player games or two-player games. It's super small. So, I suggest not bringing the dock if you're traveling somewhere. Unless you don't have any players playing with you, so. Okay, another con about the Switch. Oh, wait. No, 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 guys, hold on. Can I tell you, can I, in the, sorry, in the middle of talking about cons. Here's one, I mean, this, I promise you guys, this is the last pro. One of the pros is that you can play any single game. You can play any game on the Switch without internet. You heard me right. So you could play Mario Party, Mario Kart, or Mario Odyssey without Wi-Fi. This including games that require Wi-Fi, like games that, like, that, like, input video from YouTube or something. Then yes, if you didn't have Wi-Fi, then you couldn't watch YouTube, obviously. So, okay, back to the con. Another con of the Switch is that, well, I mean... There's not as many games as you think there are. There's a lot of games on the Switch. But traditional game consoles, or other popular game consoles like the Xbox 360, Xbox One S, um, they have, they have more, like, probably millions of games. This has 10 million. These probably have, like, 100 million, so... Very cool. Another con is that these controllers, 
are the smallest controllers in the world. And I'm not joking, because this Xbox controller on, and this Xbox 360 or this Nintendo. Nintendo makes their controllers just the smallest, or the weirdest shaped controllers. Like these ones, I mean, they're so small. Most likely because Nintendo thinks kids will just be buying this and no adults will. But really, me and my dad, we, we suck up Mario Party just a tiny bit because of how small the controllers are. So, yeah. I would say that's about every single con. The Nintendo Switch has a lot of pros. Barely any cons. I can't think of any more cons. Right, the switch. Okay, there's one last con, and I'm going to end the video. Because this is a long video. There's one last con. And it is the screen scratches and leaves fingerprints so easily. And you always need to put, you need to buy a screen protector for this thing. Look at the indent on the Switch. There it is. It's indent on the Switch. It's on the screen. So, I always suggest this. Buy a screen protector! Okay? Like, just suggest that. That's all for this video today. Sorry for not posting for a long time. I've had, I've been very busy, been Christmasing, playing with my friends socializing just because we've been locked up in the house for god knows how long for now so i know it's kind of late for this but merry christmas and a happy new year so yeah sorry i haven't been posting for a while and i just want to say guys thank you for 100 subscribers i'm so thank you and i cannot believe this but we're getting like 10 subscribers a day when I was just starting YouTube, I got, like, one subscriber a month. But now I'm getting 10 subscribers a day, which is crazy. We are growing so much, and I appreciate it so much. So whoever subscribed to my channel, thank you so much. I appreciate it so much. Now, if you're like, this kid sucks, just don't subscribe. And if you don't like my content, then back off. Don't watch it. If you're like... Oh my god, this kid sucks. He's a little noob, and I, I think he sucks. Then just back off. Don't watch me. Watch someone else, like Unspeakable Gaming. So, yep. I just want to say, before we go, I might be giving away something. If I hit, When I hit a fi uh, 500 subscribers, I might be giving away something really, really cool. So... Just a little reminder. Hope you guys enjoy the next video. I will be making that very, very soon. I will be posting tons and tons of content now because I've been very busy and very late on my content. Bye!